Oh yeah, friends and fam. Welcome back to another episode of Kevin Coleslaw Outdoors with yours truly. It is the slaw himself. So this is another piece of the Pennsylvania economy style trout fishing series, if you will. Uh, today we are trying something a little bit different. We are going to try to catch some trout that we watched get stocked the other day. If you watched the uh, latest episode, we didn't catch any trout that day, but oh my God, did they put the trout in there. I mean, they piled them, they piled them in there. And there were some nice fish caught too. I mean, we watched the guy across the river from us, young kid, catch probably a 20 inch rainbow trout, which was an absolute stud in the trout world, especially stocked fish. And here's the thing, if you're out fishing and you want to catch fish and you're not catching anything on your tactics, you have to adapt. You have to figure out what you were doing wrong and you got to make something happen from nothing by making an adjustment and being able to figure out the puzzle. That's the beauty of fishing. There's always a fish to be caught every single day of the year, legally. But you are responsible for figuring out what those fish want and what they're feeding on in order to catch them. So, here's what we're doing. We watch these fish obliterate stone flies that were hatching on this stream last week. Now, it was a little sunnier, it was a little warmer, but it, it was plain and simple. The trout were keying in on flies, and of all the guys I watched fish, including myself, Nobody was using fly tactics and nobody caught a fish. So what we're doing today is we are actually going to pursue these trout again in the same hole that you watched us uh, fish before, but we're going to do it from a fly fishing standpoint. So I have my five weight fly rod, which is not a very heavy fly rod. It's a very finesse style. And we're going to be throwing what they call nymphs, which are the aquatic life stage of these aquatic flies that you see come off the water. They live under the water most of their life, but they only hatch and fly away when it's time to breed, and once they breed, they die. So at different points of the life history of those flies, those fish will feast on different levels depending on what's most abundant. Well, it's cold, so you're not going to see a lot of flies actually hatching, but you're going to see a lot of nymphs under the water swimming around, hunting for food themselves, and that's what those trout are hopefully going to be keying in on. So I have a double nymph rig, which means there is actually a nymph tied to the end of my line, and then another nymph 12 inches above it, both have hooks on them, that could potentially catch some trout for us. We'll be using the fly fishing equivalent of a bobber. Uh, it's called a float. And we are going to roll cast in a real tight area where there's no back casting. And that's how we're gonna get into this hole to catch these fish. For those of you who have never tried fly fishing before, refer to the whys and how to's video on fly fishing casting 101 and how different casting styles of a fly rod can be performed in order to catch fish in all kinds of different physical uh, stream conditions. So with that said, that's our goal. We want to catch a trout out of the same hole that we came before where we know there's a bunch of fish and we want to do it on a fly. We don't want to use spin tackle if we can avoid it because we know these fish are keying in on really small fly food sources that are naturally occurring. You gotta give the fish what they want. If you give them what they want, you're gonna give them the best opportunity to bite your line and land something. It's cold, it's 44 degrees. I have a very, very strong hunch that there's gonna be nobody on the stream. The water might be a little higher than it was before. Hopefully it's not too chocolatey in color, but I have a really, really, really good feeling that there's gonna be some fish being caught and we're not gonna be competing with a bunch of guys for bites. So I will talk to you when we get to the spot. So you just hang in there. I will see you in a bit.
you know, one virtue of fishing that I also want to stress. Everyone always talks about patience. And don't get me wrong, it's a huge part of it. But you also have to have a level of confidence in what you're doing. So fly fishing, I don't see any flies. I need to stick to what I know and what makes me feel confident. So we're going back with the power worm that you guys know I love. That little pink freaking stupid piece of worm with a couple split shots. And we're gonna move down the shore into the eddy currents where I know fish are and I know they'll eat. And we're gonna do what we do best. Still getting bites, but my god, they're small and they don't stay. <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! Oh no! Oh! That was our first trout. Oh my gosh. Shit. Well, we're going right back in there again. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Son of a gun. Shoot. Shoot. That's annoying. Well, we'll just keep trying. That was a good rainbow, too. Oh, well. There we go. Holy shit, it came off. No. Oh. Shit. Oh my god. It came off. God dang it. Oh my goodness. There's still hitting, I just can't get a hook in Oh, I hate losing fish. I've lost two good trout today. Well, we just got back home and we are troutless. But fellas, we're getting close. I hate this early season fishing. It's an illusion, it's not the best. The water's cold, the fish are sluggish. We had a couple trout on, probably should have sealed the deal on them both, but you know what? Sometimes they don't bite, sometimes everything other than what you're looking for bites and sometimes they bite and they get away so you guys learn all the life lessons in regards of fishing but we're getting close the next video 
we have to catch some big trout. We have to do it. So we're going to buy our time, but we're going to make it happen. Please give this video a like. Give this channel a subscription. And thank you for sticking around. We're getting close. We're figuring it out. But more than anything, it's your support that makes this channel work. So thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, fellas, keep shooting straight and staying strong. And for now, that's it. Take Lizzie, Lizzie, Lizzie. Lizzie.